Hello and welcome back to the West Garfield Park Youth Council, a show about young people in the west side of Chicago making a difference in the lives of young people and in our communities. We have another exciting show for you all this evening, so we all want you again to sit back, relax, have your listening ears open and your thinking caps on. And let's get this show rolling. Hello, good evening everyone. My name is David Elam and I'm the President and Emeritus of the West Garfield Park Youth Council, which is sponsored by Fathers Who Care. Fathers Who Care is a not-for-profit organization on the west side of Chicago within the West Garfield Park community. Again, everyone, my name is David Elam and I'm the President Emeritus of the West Garfield Park Youth Council. The West Garfield Park Youth Council is comprised of 15 youth from our community whose focus and concern is youth leadership and to be a voice in the community and spread the word and addressing the issues of violence prevention. We invite people to come out from all over to see what we're all about. Our show will be scheduled every Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. Again, that's every Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. We would like to encourage calls from people watching to leave your comments and calls at 312-738-1060. Again, that's 312-738-1060. Again, our show can also be viewed online at www.cantv.org slash live. Again, that's www.cantv.org slash live. Well, everyone, we're going to get right into our show here. Um, I noticed you all see <laughs> the guest to my right hand side and I'm going to give her the pleasure now to introduce herself. Well, I'm Bernisha Jones. I'm the president of the West Garfield Park Youth Council. I've been a part of this program for at least like five years, five, six years mm -hmm. now. And I'm the president. Did you say you were the president? Yes. What exactly <laughs> does that mean? Share with our people, please. <laughs> it basically means I over, basically overrule the group. Um, mm -hmm. I make important decisions about the group, different stuff we can do. Mm -hmm. um, try to get youth to be a part of our group and stuff like that. And you said you were involved with that about... Uh, like five, six years. Mm. How did you come... Um, how did you get into this? Honestly, um, my father. My father is, you know, the executive director over the group that's over the West Garfield Park Youth Council. And I wouldn't say it was nothing. Like, at first it was like it was something he wanted us to do just because we was his kids. But then it came to a point where we started enjoying doing it and started enjoying coming around because of the people we was around the youth and stuff. So it's just something that I just started to like. Hmm. And if young people out there uh, right now who may be watching or, you know, need something to do, how would they um, be involved with this uh, West Garfield Park Youth Council? Um, we have meetings every Monday. Um, coming up, we're going to start having different events where youth could come out, such as parades, um, block parties and stuff like that, where youth could come out, get more information about our group, okay. and basically able to see the different people that are a part of our group and get more info. Or they could just come out to our meeting that we have every Monday at 4.30 to 6.30 at 4540 West Washington. Or they can contact us by phone at 773-287-5821. Again, that number is 773-287-5821. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, you're watching the West Garfield Park Youth Council television show. You're watching a live interactive television broadcast brought to you by Can TV Channel 21. During the next 25 minutes, me and Miss Vernicia here, we will be discussing the topic on safety in your community, what it means to be safe, how to be safe, how to take safety precautions, and things like that. And I want to pose a question to the viewing audience at home to please call in with your questions or comments to the following questions. What are you doing to ensure the safety in your community? What are you doing? What precautions are you taking? What are you doing exactly to make sure to ensure that your community is safe? So, How about you answer that? Ooh. <laughs> okay, she shot a shot at the host. I like that. Okay, I'll go. I'll, I will uh, interject on that. On um, what I think um, how we can um, ensure the safety of our communities. First of all, understand 
<clears throat> the problems that's happening in our community. Understand and come together as a collaborative unit, being the community leaders, community organizations, residents of the community, of the neighborhood, of the area, and just come together collectively to first figure out the major issues and problems that's going mm -hmm. on in the community and try to figure out what we can do to help make our communities safe and make our communities a much better and safer environment to live in. Um, I have a few questions for our guest, Vernicia, um, if that's okay. Okay, uh, first question is, what activities do you think young people will want to be involved in in order to stay safe? Mm -hmm. Activities you would want to be involved in. Mm -hmm. um, obviously it will be stuff if it's involving money. Anything involving money a child would do. Mm -hmm. So I would say jobs. Anything okay. involving stuff that will be fun. So such as like us when we done took trips and mm -hmm. Six Flags, different stuff like that I feel like kids would want to do. Um, the block parties I feel like that engage a younger crowd but then I feel like it's starting at a young age so I feel like that's stuff that we should continue to do to try to get the younger people and that's what I feel like it will help better everything if we just start from a younger age than what we're seeking now. Mm -hmm. I agree, I agree. Um, next question. What resources um, does uh, the West Garfield Park Youth Council have for young people? A lot. Um, such as getting kids ready for college, helping kids with scholarships to college, helping kids have summer employment, employment mm -hmm. that goes into the fall. Um, and some of, some of the kids have long-term employment. Um, mm -hmm. Being able to meet a lot of people that you would have never met if you wasn't a part of the program, such as secretaries, state reps, um, all different types of people, commissioners and everything. Mm -hmm. um, what else do they involve? Uh, what was the question again? What resources do the West Garfield Park Resource. Youth Council have? For yeah, that's basically that basically sum it up. Because when we get in contact with some type of people, they bring a lot of resources to okay. us and different stuff we can do in the neighborhood and stuff. Okay. Like that. Okay, and I see we have our first caller of the evening. We're gonna get to the call and jump back into the conversation. Hello, call. You're on with Miss Bernicia Jones. Your comment or question, please. <laughs> Okay, um, hello to the both of you all. Um, I enjoy watching you all whenever you all are on the show. I want to ask a couple of questions before I hang up. And the first question uh, to you, uh, Dave, I want to ask, what is the age range of the youth that are allowed to join uh, the Fathers Who Care Youth um, Program? What is the age range? Uh, the age range is um, 13. 13 to 24 years old, both male and female. But personally, I'm trying to start it so uh, we at least go down to like 11. Okay. And okay, I'm, I'm glad you said that because I, I heard you mention, uh, Ms. Farnesia, about, you know, you all think that you need to start younger. I agree with that because, and the reason why I say that is because a lot of our youth, you know, with me working in a school, starts at such an early age, you know, mm -hmm. where they're getting uh, caught up out here, you know, this, that, and other, and they need some type of, some type of avenue where they can go and have mentors like yourself, Dave, that can help them out and help them um, get on the right path because so many of our youth are lost out here. And I just want to say to the both of you all, keep up the good work with what you do with, with Fathers Who Care. And, and I'm, I am very proud of you all. I'm very proud of you, Dave, and the young man that you have grown to be because you are a perfect role model for the young men out here. And, Vernicia, you keep up the good work and don't give up, you know, because if you all don't give up, then the youth out there that's watching you all will not give up. Thank you, and that smile is beautiful, Vernicia. <laughs> Thank you, but yeah, personally, I was um, thinking about that, um, talking to my father about making it where we, I feel like if we start to take the age down to like around my niece's age, 11, 10, 11 or whatever, because they are mature, they know what they're doing and know what they shouldn't do, I feel like that'll bring out more youth for one, 
Because they don't really be having nothing to do anyway. When you okay. get them at older ages, they all getting jobs. They all mm -hmm. finding stuff to do. So they don't have time to do stuff like that. So I feel like mm -hmm. that would be a really good decision. Thank you for I your agree. comment. I agree. Uh, next uh, question. Um, coming from you <clears throat> being the president of the uh, West Garfield Park Youth Council, obviously that is a very um, important uh, role. Mm -hmm. Do you face um, any challenges with being, you know, president of the West Garfield Park Youth Council? Does Do you see as it being challenging as well as rewarding? Do you face anything that you may feel as though sometimes you have your back against the wall and you, you know, seek out other outlets of, you know, assistance or help, you know? Yes, all the time. Because um, basically, I didn't realize that being a president came with so much responsibility as it does. And it's like, man, you, we all, everybody, as I said before, everybody that's in the program are getting older. Mm -hmm. Either we're in school, we work in this and the third. So it's mm -hmm. like trying to maintain that and work and do this and do that or whatever. It do become hard sometimes because at the end of the day, it's like, I can call on people to do stuff, but it's like if don't nobody come through, it's always throwing me to do it. Okay. So it's like even when it comes to the TV show and all that type of stuff, I can call on people to come out and be on the TV show and stuff like that. But if don't nobody show up, I'm always the person to have to do it and stuff. So it's a lot of work being a president. Yes, it, it, def, it definitely, definitely is. And I feel like this group has been very, um, very uh, impactful into the uh, into the 12 years that has been in existence. Obviously, you've been here 12 years. I haven't been here that long, <laughs> but um, a little background on the West Garfield Park Youth Council. The West Garfield Park Youth Council was founded October 12th, uh, 2011, under the umbrella of the organization Fathers Who Care, whereas I um, was the first ever president of the West Garfield Park Youth Council and I understood that it had to it came with a lot as Vernicia said it does come with a lot of responsibility because you're taking on a role not just for yourself but a bigger responsibility to be a role model and a mentor and a leader to other young people not only in your neighborhood but across the city of Chicago west south east north you know all over and young people look at that young people watch you and like uh, the caller who uh, previously called said you know young people look up to other young people they see mm. who are doing positive I mean if you're positive they're gonna want to be positive if they're negative they're gonna want to be negative and you always wanna you know obtain that positive entity into yourself because you don't want to you know, stray away and then get off into, branch off into something else. And then young people will be like, oh, you were this person this time and now you've turned into this like person. And then they, you know, they wishy-washy on how to look up to you and they fall off and then they fall into something else. Um, a little bit more insight of the West Garfield Park Youth Council. This is our website. This is the caption, uh, the tab, West Garfield Park Youth Council. If you get a chance, please visit our website, uh, www.fatherswhocare.org, as you see it at the top of the screen. Um, these are a few of events that we've uh, partaken in, the Springfield, you know, community events, um, a few tabs, youth leadership, some of the things that we do, planning and governance, fundraising and special events, advocacy and listening, marketing and public relations, and public safety. Some of the topics that we uh, venture off into that you all can, you know, uh, may have questions about or if any different ideas that you may have about. Uh, we prevent all forms of substance abuse, uh, school and gang violence, anti-bullying and cyberbullying, teen dating awareness, being a victim and knowing how to avoid being a victim of peer pressure. Conflict resolution, one of my personal favorites. Youth empowering our community. How to promote a safe and drug-free community. And mentor future leaders. That is a little um, gist of the West Garfield Park Youth Council and some of the things that we do. Uh, for more information, like I said, you can personally yourself visit the website www.fatherswhocare.org. Also, 
um, Fathers Who Care uh, will be having a few events coming up um, entitled Light in the Night. They are, they are a series of events over the summer whereas the community comes together. And you know, it's just, it's just a night of fun. You know, um, games, uh, free food, um, games for the kids. You know, they're all safe places to, you know, just come out and have fun. And it's free to the community, you know. There's no charge or anything like that. It's free to the community. You could come out, rejoice, laugh, have fun. Um, the first set of events will take place um, next week, uh, June 28th through the 30th. That's Thursday the 28th, Friday the 29th, and Saturday the 30th. Uh, the location of that event, those events will take place on the corner of Van Buren and Gladys. Um, for more information on the Light of the Night events and the scheduling of those events and how you can be a part of the West Garfield Park Youth Council and planning or things like that, please uh, give us a call at 773-287-5821. Again, that's 773-287-5821. Or, as again, you can visit our website at www.fathersucare.org. Now, back into the conversation. Um, if you're just tuning in, my name is David Elam, and I'm the President Emeritus of the West Garfield Park Youth Council. Our guest this evening is Miss Vernicia Jones. She is the President of the West Garfield Park Youth Council. And we're discussing this evening safety in our community and I uh, pose the question to the viewing audience what are you doing as a parent as a young person or anything like that what are you doing to ensure the safety in, and your, talking, com in your community and talking about safety can you um actually bring up the stuff that's been going on in our community uh, some of the things that's been going on wow uh, I'm glad you brought that up <clears throat> some of the things that's been going on in our community. First of all, um, I would like to give um, the West Garfield Park Youth Council would like to give its deepest uh, condolences to um, the loss of a very powerful man in the community. He was a, a phenomenal outreacher. Uh, he was a member of Ceasefire. He was, you know, he always had a knack for young people, always wanted to keep young people on point and out of trouble. Uh, our deepest condolences uh, to Mr. Derek House on his passing. Um, the West Garfield Park Youth Council and Fathers Who Care deeply send our condolences to you and to your family in your time of grief. Um, some of the things that's been going on in our community, um, there's been a, um, a wide spread of missing yeah um uh, missing young people uh young girls to uh be correct um they've been coming up missing and there's been a wide range of bodies that's being recovered and being found um across the city of chicago um uh vernisha how do you feel about that i don't know how to feel um it's scary because it's like um it make you, you never know, like, for one, the neighborhood that this stuff happening in is neighborhoods we all be in. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you never know. You never know, like, would you be the next person? Would somebody you know be the next person mm -hmm. to get kidnapped or anything? Or the person you talking, it's like you never know, because as they clearly said, these people, they don't send them with the guys or whatever the case may be. So it's like, you never know people, you never know who you're surrounded by, where you're surrounded at, and it's, it's scary. Yes, it, it, very, it, it really, really is. Uh, and people need to, first of all, take caution. And <clears throat> I know that young people today, they feel, you know, and they know everything, but that's not, um, that's not the case. But it's always um, important to ensure your safety with being letting someone know where you are I mean it's not that someone's trying to be in your business it's not that someone is trying to you know know your every move or things like that they just want to make sure that you are okay with the stuff that's been going on in yeah. Chicago and uh, things like that and it's just to make sure <clears throat> that you are okay I mean if you're going somewhere let someone know where you're going that 
just in case, God forbid, something was to occur, they know what your last destination was. I mean, mm -hmm. you're not checking in saying, okay, I went here, I'm finna go there. I just left here, I'm just going there. Just let someone know where you are so they can have a better understanding of, okay, how to deal with the situation if something was uh, to happen. And even if you don't feel comfortable with letting your parents or you know uh your guardian know where you're at. i i learned that you can if if you got an iphone you can just share your location with a local friend or something mm -hmm. like that to let somebody know exactly where you are not even telling people where you mm -hmm. are no more let somebody know exactly where you are yeah I but, said we got a but with that you know being let don't let everybody know just people that you yeah. trust because that can be dangerous as well people knowing exactly where you are and then they can just come to where you are and whatever like that so be cautious when you are doing that. I see we have another caller. Hello, caller. Thank you so much for calling. You're on with Miss Vernicia Jones. Your comment or question, please. Hey, good evening. This is Auntie Paula. Hi, Vernicia. Hi, David. How you doing this evening? Doing Hello. all right. You guys are doing a great job. Two weeks in a row. I praise the Lord for you guys. You just stay right where you're at every single week, okay? West Garfield Park Youth Council, you guys are strong. I've seen you guys down in the Daily Center. Hey, I said, I know those kids. That's a West Garfield, so bless your heart. You keep steady, you stay strong. Now, as far as those young ladies that would be finding in the garages, these six people, this is what you call a serial person. There's a serial person after them. And sometimes those young ladies, they follow those people, and then they wind up in trouble. So the best thing to do is stay away from a situation like that. You can't just blame who's ever killing them because those young ladies are following them. You two stay on that TV, you pray. I pray for you kids every single day. This Chicago is so heated up. Honey, I'm 63 years old. I come from the Al Capone days with the real gangsters. But these days, let me tell you something. You got all these drive-bys. You got all these carjackings. And if you... Think about it. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Ain't nobody getting caught because the brotherhood is real strong. The code of silence is real silent right now. On that person, that poor kid the other day that was breathing on the TV with the sheet, I cried my eyes out. If I could have went through that damn TV with them, please. They didn't make a big mistake with that. It's just, it's all heated up. You can't blame the weather. You can't blame the council. Our government, they don't help us, baby. So what you kids got to do is stick together. When you out partying at your little party house, you stay together in a group. You stay together. Put the guns down. Always watch behind you. Try not to stay out too late. If you see a friend of yours that's having troubles at home, got some kind of something, you know what they're doing, mm -hmm. grab them on the side and say, brother, can I help you? Can't do it alone. It takes a whole bunch of children to raise a village, not just one. And I bless your little hearts, you guys. I pray for you every day. Okay? Yes. You be safe out there, okay? Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Thank you for the call. Yeah. Uh, next uh, question. Um, let's jump back into the uh, the conversation about what it means uh, mm -hmm. to be what it means to be safe. Um, what does it mean to be safe? To me, it means basically to pay attention to your surroundings, mm -hmm. to make smart decisions. That's basically what it means. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just just make smart decisions, stay safe. You know, I always let people know where you're going and uh, things like that. Once again, I want to thank um, Bernicia for being a guest on the West Garfield Park Youth Council TV show um, this evening. Once again, the Light in the Night events, uh, the next ones will take place on uh, June 28th, 29th, and the 30th. For more information on uh, Fathers Who Care and the West Garfield Park Youth Council, once again, we meet every Monday from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m., 4540 West Washington Boulevard. Give us a call at um, 773-287-5821. Again, that's 773-287-5821. Five eight two one. Thank you. See you next week. Same time, same place. God bless you. Good night.